Today in this video, we're looking at how to connect your laptop to your TV using a VGA cable. Now, quite a lot of my viewers have been asking me how to actually do this, which is the reason I wanted to share this video with you today. So during the video, we're we'll looking at how to actually connect the two devices together. And we'll also crucially be looking at things like power settings, so your laptop doesn't power down, for example, when you, when you output to the, the TV. We'll also be looking at audio settings, as we know VGA isn't capable of carrying audio. And we'll also be looking later in the video at display settings, so the different options you have there. But before we jump into the detail, if you're new to this channel and you want help solving your tech related questions like this and other types of tech, start now by subscribing to our channel. Okay, so let's dive into the detail right now and look at how to connect your laptop to your TV using a VGA cable. So this video assumes that your TV and your laptop are on and they are connected to a mains power source and your laptop is actually logged on to Windows. And also you've got a, because we're connecting with VGA, so the TV has a VGA input as well as an audio input socket on the back and the laptop has a VGA output and an audio output or headphone jack included, okay? So this what you'll need for this to work here. We'll also be using a remote control, the VGA cable there. Going to be using a mouse as well as an audio cable with a three and a half mil jack on either end of it. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the power settings on the laptop. So I'm just going to grab the mouse here and plug it in. And the reason we're doing this is because if we choose to close the laptop lid, it's very difficult to use if you've been using the mouse pad on the laptop. So if we just go ahead and plug that in now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to power settings. So if you type in the search box power and go to power and sleep settings. And what we need to do is I'm showing my screen by way with you so you can see this. So on power and sleep, currently it says on battery power, turn off after two minutes. What we're going to put is five hours just make sure it's appropriate to what you require and when plugged in we're actually going to say that it never turns off because when i'm using it with my tv then basically it's i have it always plugged in on power so i know it's not going to go to sleep okay so that's the screen settings on sleep we've got on battery power let's say five hours again and when plugged in the pc goes to sleep after we're going to say never again okay so if you scroll down to the bottom there and go to additional power settings and another crucial setting that we need to do is choose what closing the lid does. So at this point here, when I close the lid on battery, go to sleep, that's absolutely fine because we'll, we'll always be, I always use this sort of connected to power. So when it's plugged in, it says sleep. So if we ever sort of project, if you ever send sort of this, sort of the, to, to the TV here and close the laptop lid, it will sleep currently, which is an ideal. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say do nothing and save the changes there and come out, close it down there. Okay, so that's the power plan sorted. Now we're going to go ahead and physically connect the laptop to the TV using the VGA cable. So if we grab the VGA cable first, now with the VGA cable, you can actually choose either end to put into the TV. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So if you just pop that into the TV and make sure that it is secured. Like so. Okay, let's just move that back. And then what we'll do is we'll plug the other end of the VGA cable into the laptop. Okay, so that's now creating a link between the TV and the laptop and you'll see the screen does flicker. You sometimes may hear a noise as well when it actually connects. And now they're connected together, we're going to find the source for the TV. So if we press the source button, okay. So if we go in there and we go to the source list here and if we scroll down to PC and select okay, hopefully you should see the screen there now the final cable to connect is the audio lead. So if we go ahead and plug that in 
and we're going to plug one end of it, both got the same end, into the audio input in the back of the TV. And we're also going to plug it into the headphone jack on the laptop, as you can see here. And one thing to note here, which is really crucial, because quite a lot of my viewers have said they have a problem in getting the sound on the TV, is to make sure that on when basically you plug your audio cable into the laptop, it says the current connected device is, which device did you plug in? Just select the relevant one. So if you want it to go to the TV, because we're using a, so a three and a, an audio cable with a three and a half mil jack on either end, what we're going to select is headphone okay so therefore we know we actually the audio will be outputted to the tv if you wanted to keep it on the computer you can still say speaker out but for the purposes of today we're going to put headphone and you can ask it to remember my selection not show dialogue next time but i'll leave that unchecked okay and then just select okay when that's done so if you choose to then open a sort of file on the computer so let's just move that if you drag that across to the right on the second screen you should now be here able to hear the volume accordingly just turn the volume up on that so as you can hear that is now outputted to the tv so another really important point is to look at display settings and it really depends on what you are doing with your computer so for example, at the moment, you may want to use this for a work setup where you want to extend the display. So you can have, for example, one thing on one screen and then you've got another program on another, like so. But you can obviously move them between screens accordingly as well, okay? So for example, we wanted Firefox on there and the graphics program on there, we can do that. So that works for a work setup. Now, if we go into display settings, go to bottom left search, type in display and click display settings on the right hand side, as you can see, and it will take you into settings. As you can see here, we've got monitor one and monitor two accordingly, and we can move easily between displays. If you are having a problem with the displays, I have made a video on this. They've got a link appearing on the top of the screen now. Basically, if you're having issues moving from one screen to another, then this will show you how to cure the problems. So as I said, this is an extended display where you can work on two monitors. So that's absolutely fine. But if you wanted, for example, just to stream of an evening, maybe on the TV with the family or whatever, or watch a movie or watch some kind of program, and you don't want the laptop on, you can sort of control everything from your TV. So what you need to do is again, just go up to identify the displays. We only want to show on output two. So if you go to multiple displays and go to show only on two, and basically if you keep the changes there, everything can now be controlled from the computer here on the actual TV. And if you remember earlier with regard to the power settings, we did that so when we close the lid, it doesn't power down, but we've also added a mouse. So we, if we don't want to use the laptop itself, we just want to stream a movie, we can do here and hence the mouse. So you're good to go. I've created some other PC related videos for you, including how to connect an older monitor with a VGA connection to a much more modern laptop with an HDMI connection. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. But many thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you on the next one.